It happens once a year. We feel as though we've gained an extra hour of sleep overnight, which in a way we have, but not everybody takes that change well, with the first few days after a time change being linked to an increase in car crashes and heart attacks. You're functioning at kind of a, um, um, an earlier time than you're normally used at. Dr. Najib Ayes is a professor of medicine and medical director of the sleep disorders program at UBC Hospital. He says that it all starts with the body's circadian rhythm, also known as your body's internal clock. What happens here is that um, a couple of days ago, your circadian rhythm was uh, anchored to a certain time. But then with daylight savings time, either in the springtime or in the fall time, all of a sudden, the circadian rhythm isn't exactly in sync with what um, the, uh, the time clock is. And that causes a variety of issues in terms of reduced alertness, reduced ability to fall asleep or stay asleep as well. The reduced alertness is what leads to increased car crashes in the days following a time change. While research shows there's also an increased risk of heart attacks at this time. Even in the short term can have a variety of short term physiologic changes including a rise in blood pressure or a rise in kind of inflammatory mediators in the body and these both can predispose individuals to cardiovascular disease as well. And though some people may not feel a big difference. As a student I'm always tired and so <laughs> maybe getting an extra hour helped a little bit but maybe not that much. Others have a more difficult time adjusting to the time change. Yeah, I feel extra tired despite the extra hour of sleep. I feel a bit disoriented. I'm a bit of an insomniac and so for the past few weeks I've been trying to do like a cognitive behavioral therapy approach to treating insomnia and it really requires that you keep like a very consistent sleep schedule and that was just entirely thrown off yesterday. Sleep in general is a um, fundamental pillar of a healthy lifestyle. Dr. Ayes says the impact on the body is greater when we get that hour taken away. It's more uh, pronounced in the springtime when you're springing forward. And I think that we've all had this uh, experience where at that time you're almost getting less sleep because you're forced to kind of wake up a little bit earlier than you would expect as well. But we have until March 8th, 2026 for that, when clocks will be going forward one hour for the beginning of daylight saving time. In Vancouver, Angelina Ravelli, City News.